It's me, QP83. This past weekend, my mom and I went to the Chicago Toy and Game Fair. It's its 12th year. It is our first year attending. It was a blast. So the show had very much like a show-and-tell sort of feel. The companies who decided to show put products out, and they wanted you to play with them. They wanted you to ask questions. They wanted to interact with you. It was really, really cool. Some had some very elaborate booths where they would set up life-size board games. Uh, and some had smaller booths where maybe they just had a sample of their product that you could play. But still, every booth had something interesting in it. There was a nice variety of things at the show. There were a lot of tabletop gaming, card gaming, board games, that sort of thing. And there were also lots of traditional toys, all the way from, you know, manipulatives for the younger set to, um, you know, more advanced sort of sort of toys where you use your phone to control certain aspects of, of play. There weren't a lot of doll-related vendors. There were pretty much only maybe five at the most. But the ones that did show actually had some pretty nice booths, and I think it was worthwhile to see them. Spin Master had a really nice booth. Theirs was by far the biggest booth. They had a nice variety of toys out. One was like a racetrack that was on a wall. Their car would literally follow like a laser light. It was very bizarre and super, super awesome. They also had the flutter buys, which up until actually seeing them in person, I thought they were just a ripoff of every other flying fairy toy. But it turns out they're super neat. They'll literally like hover above your hand. Uh, the standout in their booth, however, had to be the no sew sewing machine. Um, I believe it's called So Cool, S-E-W-C-O-O-L. Essentially, the machine felt projects together. Some of the examples of what we did there are this. I made the dog, my mom made the uh, chipmunk. One of the reasons I was excited about attending this year's show was because I had heard that the Makey's folks were going to be there, and as you know, I love the Makey doll line. They're 3D printed dolls. You get to customize them on their website. It's just, it's a fantastic doll line, a fantastic concept. And they were there in person at this year's show, and it was so great to see them. Huge shout out to Alice, who was running the booth. She is one of the uh, designers at Makey Labs. She actually won an award this weekend. It was a Rising Star Award. Huge congratulations. It's totally deserved. Some other doll lines that were represented were Springfield dolls, our generation, the 18-inch dolls that are sold at Target and Walmart, I believe, uh, that have all that really cool 18-inch furniture. They were there as well. One stand called Lily Husset uh, actually crafted cardboard do-it-yourself doll houses. Those were really, really nice. Another doll line that was attending the Chicago Toy and Game Fair was the College Savings dolls. College Saving Dolls, they're a line I've been following on Facebook for quite some time, so it was nice to see them in person and to get to talk to uh, their rep who answered so many of my questions. They're also a local company, which is kind of awesome. Stepping away from the doll vendors for a moment, there are some items that I received at the show that I think you guys are really, really like. So this first one... <laughs> It's um, the Fluffy Friends line. They're tromping plush toys. And I know there are some slightly macabre fans out here who watch my chan my shows occasionally and read my blog occasionally. I think you guys will really like this. This is going to get a full review uh, of its very own soon, so stay tuned to learn more about Fluffy Friends. One of the items I received in my goodie bag, uh, because I attended as press, was a finger loom. It's one of the newer products from the Rainbow Loom Company. This is kind of embarrassing, but I've never actually made a rainbow loom bracelet or necklace or anything before. So I made my first rainbow loom project at the show, and I actually got help from the creator of the rainbow loom craze, which is kind of awesome. He was one of the guests of the show. This is an Ogle Build Bits. I didn't get to see a lot of their booth, but this toy is rather intriguing. The other fabulous thing I received for review is a Fab Blossom kit. A do-it-yourself, no-sew projects are like the 
the thing right now and I personally love them because I can't sew I never will be able to sew so if there's something that could take that element away I'm all for it this is a fantastic set I highly recommend taking a peek at the website linked down below it allows you to make these perfect flowers with no glue and no sewing and it's so easy I literally made this in like less than five minutes it's fun is a, it's a neat line these are fun manipulatives, even if it's just for the person that likes having something in their hands and building strange things, this is something that they will probably love. Digibirds by Spin Master. They are adorable. I received a My Cord. If you have seen the friendship bracelet looms, this is kind of the same thing except it makes less flat bracelets and more round, chunky, cord-like bracelets. This was a fun show because it wasn't just a trade show, it wasn't just a busy convention, it was a family friendly, uh, engaging sort of convention. It, there were lots of Boy Scouts, lots of Girl Scouts, like I said, the, the vendors wanted you to ask them questions and wanted you to try their games, they wanted to teach you how to, how to use their products and I loved that about it. There were three special guests. Uh, the creator of the Rainbow Looms. As I mentioned, he was one of the special guests. They also had the creator of Jenga, who came, and that was really cool hearing her story. The other special guest was the creator of Operation. The show itself also has a bunch of elements that aren't just walking around the trade floor. There's a Young Inventors contest where children, grammar school kids, come up with their own board games, are judged, and then there are winners. It was kind of like a science fair for toy inventing. Uh, there was a yo-yo competition going on. Uh, there was a Catan tournament going on. And there were lots of other fun things that children could go and participate in. And it was just, it's a really cool event. And it's an affordable event as well, which is another plus. Not to mention, there were Star Wars characters there. The 501st was there. They did a luncheon. I did not attend the luncheon, but I still got my token picture with the Stormtrooper. If you ever see Stormtrooper, you have to get a picture taken with them. So that is the Chicago Toy and Game Fair in a nutshell. If you have any questions, you can leave them down below. I had a blast. I look forward to going next year, making more connections, playing more games. You can check out my blog, Confessions of a Doll Collector's Daughter. You can also check out our Facebook page, Confessions of a Doll Collector's Daughter. I'll see you soon with more doll and toy reviews.